It's been a while since I've been able to film outside in my backyard, but now it's 84 degrees out here in Florida in the middle of February. So let's talk about, well, this format is actually pretty healthy. Let's dive on into it, shall we? What's up, everybody? Your favorite man with an ultra ball has written a book. It's called My Very Happy Life, and it details my journey living with my rare cancer diagnosis known as Von Hippel-Lindau disease. I want the book to inspire you and encourage you to reach for your dreams, and the best part is half of all profits are going to support the VHL Alliance in order to help raise awareness on VHL. Link to my book is in the description. I hope you enjoy it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button so we can climb even further beyond the 1k ladder currently sitting at 1091 we're so close to 1100 subscribers do me a favor someone go make nine alternate accounts and go subscribe to my channel <laughs> i'm kidding don't do that I, i'm pretty sure you can get banned for that <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen i have not yet actually talked about the format i've talked about like tier lists and things like that and the market as a whole but now that the photon hypernova set has actually dropped today which i should be getting my case probably by monday or tuesday of next week so be sure that you're subscribed to the channel for that because we will be doing a live stream on that be sure that you got the taco bell notification bell hit as well <gasps> that was a mouthful <laughs> but this format i have to say feels just so much more healthy than tier element now if you're my dad you think that the format sucks because in his words and i quote this shit sucks avery and this is not the game that you and i got into nearly 20 years ago and it was funny because last night we were uh play testing he was play testing a few different decks trying to figure out what he wants to play for the format now that mystic mind got taken out back and shot in the nuts um but I had, you know, of course, I'm playtesting Kashtira, and, you know, I've got a Rise Heart on the board, my Dia Bolsus, and my Shangri-La, and just every time something gets banished, I'm using its effect to attach a material, and he's just like, Avery, this shit sucks. Like, this is not the game we got into years ago. It's changed so much. And I was like, like, it kind of took me out of the clouds for a minute, because I'm like, yeah, like, you're, you're definitely right. At the same time, though, for modern Yu-Gi-Oh! level, like, the the format is so much better. Like, what's what's interesting, too, is that I was looking at, uh, I think it's Your Move TCG, and there was a place, and I think it was either Australia or Arizona, that held a locals. And granted, this is a locals, so I don't know if there was eight people, four people, 16 people there, but it was 50-50. 50% branded, 50% cash tier. Like, that's really cool to see decks like branded that have been around for quite a while now, if you think about it, and still are getting new support, that now they're able to come back into the fray and use the buy seal cards to make plays and... And now seeing Kashtira being at full power, of course, the deck still loses to fucking Nibiru if you're not playing the Brave package uh, or Adventure package, whatever you want to call it. And then, you know, you're not going to play Cross out with Nibiru because that's just inconsistent and garbage. <laughs> but I still feel that like so many different decks can compete now. And now that Tier Element has moved to that Tier 2 status, it, it just it makes things so much more fresh. And like Flunder, like, yeah, Flunder definitely got hit a bit hard like i mean without the barrier statue they basically have to play like what the water statue the light statue and hope that they open with it or draw into it or search it off of prosperity and end on m pin and some other random attribute statue i mean just ending on an m pin is definitely not scary and i said that before before barrier statue got banned you know i said that the main thing that makes the board so disgusting it's not the field spell it's not the dreaming town it's the fucking statue because it's searchable you can drop it out and then they can't special summon and even if they can they got to summon their shit in defense which now that's funny because i mean kashtira unicorn's a win so the barrier statue doesn't really hurt kashtira and then all you have to do is just summon your stuff in defense until you can get rid of the m pin like it's it's pretty comical in that regard but Moving into like what we can see at like future YCSs and big events and, uh, and things like that, I don't feel like that it's going to be really a tier zero format. I think it's still going to be a consistent tier one format with Cash Tira leading the charge unless people just start playing Nibiru and Kaijus and everything else. Uh, and then Sprite maybe being a close second. Some people have been talking about Tri Brigade Sprite, but I really don't know if Tri Brigade Sprite's going to be that good here in the TCG because like the new like Mark II Link, whatever it is, like. It's not that good. Like, from what I understand, it's just a dogmatical punishment target. And to me, like, why would you play that in Tri Brigade when you need your extra deck anyway? So, I feel like Tri Brigade is the new Gladiator Beast in that regard. Like, Tri Brigade has a couple hits on the ban list right now. But, like, it's the deck that if no one knows what the fuck to play, they'll just go back to playing Tri Brigade. <laughs> like, because it's just that consistent. It's just that good. But, like, there's still so many choices that you could play. You know, you've got Runic, which... Yeah, it kind of loses to Shifter, but there's so many different ways that you can build the deck. 
And on top of that too, like there are some cheeky things that you can do with Runic too. You know, you can play the, uh, what is it? The five star rainbow magician. And then you summon out Danko Seka and you basically have a different kind of mystic mind, which is really toxic, but also really funny. That seems really inconsistent though. But I mean, it is a way to recreate mystic mind in Runic if you really want to go that far. Um, but at the, at the same time, like, you know, there, there are outs to it. You know, people are going to be playing D shifter now, maybe in Sprite, definitely in Cash Tira. We're going to see how Cash Tira evolves over time. We're going to see how tier element evolves over time. I don't think tier element Cash Tira is really going to be a thing here in the OCG because, or in the TCG, because we just have so many different hits. And when I was testing tier element Cash Tira before this new ban list, you know, it was so much more inconsistent compared to just playing straight Ishizu tier. So I don't think that tier element players are really going to want to take that Pepsi challenge to say, okay, well, we're going to play tier element Cash Tira with one of each of the fucking Ishizu fairies, because that's totally consistent, and just hope that we hit our mills. Like, the deck at this point has to, like, what? You got to max out on the new continuous spell that you got? Maybe? Max out on Scream, max out on King of the Swamp, um, King of the Swamp, and, like, play nine by steals and, like, good luck, have fun. Like, am I wrong? Like, I feel like that's what the deck has to kind of do at this point. Or they go back to playing, like, Bray the the adventure engine with like a sprite engine but even then you can't really do that because elf is gone so what do sugar boo bear <laughs> like i don't know like it's it's just sort of tier two now which i'm totally fine with if i never see tier element at an event again i'm totally fine with that and moving on along i mean keep in mind we're having maze of memories drop next month with the ancient fairy reprint um that's going to be really cool we're going to get you know gate guardian support and then a couple months after that we get cyberstorm access which is going to have time rendering morganite letting you draw two cards normal summon twice like that shit's going to be disgusting other than that cyberstorm access is a pretty bad set in my opinion but it also depends if we get a balance during that time or not but i mean a, a diverse format is great i mean and i i wouldn't even really argue well i let, let me rephrase that i would argue that cash tira is not that broken of a deck can the things that it do be toxic and disgusting? Absolutely. I cannot tell you how many players that are playing cash tier are going to go to time because of a rise hearts mandatory trigger effect. Like it's going to happen a lot guaranteed to you because especially too, because you have to be able to go back and repair the game state if you forget about it. So if both players forget about the triggering effect of a rise heart to grab a card from the banish pile. You then have to take time to repair the game state as a fucking car goes past me while I'm trying to film. God damn it. <laughs> so, Jesus Christ, fucking dump truck. So, um, uh, like, Cash Tira is, I would argue, totally fair. You know, it, they, they pretty much have to play the Adventure Engine, which makes them clunky, or they have to play Nightmare Corruptor Ibli, which is what I saw a couple builds playing. At the same time, Corruptor Ibli feels so fucking clunky that, like, it almost just doesn't seem worth it. I would almost just rather play the Brave Package and hope for the best, even though that can kind of screw you over because if you need your normal summon, you need to use the effect and Ride of Aramis is going to screw you over. But I, I'm excited for this new format. You know, this is this is modern Yu-Gi-Oh! This is Yu-Gi-Oh! in 2023. It's, it's just sort of the thing that we have to deal with. But let me know what you guys think. Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about this format. Are you excited for it or do you think it's toxic? Do you already want an emergency ban list to hit, I don't know, Shangri-La? That, that would totally kill Cash Tira. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video.